Hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to an episode of Game Hunting. First of all, I'm here at a car boot sale in Truro. Now these are normally a little hit and miss, but I was able to find some gaming goodness. Here we have a selection of Xbox 360 games. Here we have an Xbox Live Arcade compilation, which is pretty cool. And here's WWE All Stars, a wrestling game, and I did end up picking that up. All of these games were around one or two pounds each. At a car boot sale, certainly you don't want to be looking to pay anything near retail or eBay prices. You want to pick stuff up on the cheap if you can. I took a good look at Tron Evolution here. I'm a big fan of the original Tron film. It's an absolute classic. I'm looking to get lucky one time at a car boot sale. I've got a massive stack of big box PC games, so around about one pound each, and seeing that again will be absolutely amazing. From this seller, I just picked up WWE All Stars, but I'm on the lookout for something retro, and I spy Premier Manager for the Mega Drive. Wah wah, not what I'm looking for. But this vendor does have a ton of stuff. This is actually a reseller, and I'll be checking out their shop, Acorn Records, just a little bit later in the video. Potentially, the reseller did pick up any retro stuff that was there before the public got in but that's just the game and talking about game I did pick up Blaze Blue Chromo Phantasma Extend for the PlayStation 4. So we're here at Acorn Records in Truro they have a lot of stuff here certainly a great selection of PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast as well as some PlayStation 3 and some more PlayStation 1 and just below that there is some Xbox 360 as well as some original Xbox as well with some Wii mingled in also. What drew my eye here initially was Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon on the original Xbox and at one pound the price is certainly right for this martial arts movie based game. In this cabinet under the till they had a ton more games DS, 3DS, PSP as well as some retro goodness with Master System and Mega Drive loose cartridges. There is a Game Boy Advance 2-in-1 Disney game pack and some Game Boy and Game Boy Color games here as well. And underneath that there are some boxed Mega Drive games. There's a lot of sports titles here because there's a lot of sports titles on the system. But they have Streets of Rage in the box there and the Lost Vikings which really drew my eye. Although $34.95 seemed a bit steep. A couple of Master System games there in the box and some Nintendo box games here for the Nintendo 64. And we have Super Nintendo cartridges here, American ones up top and European ones at the bottom. You can tell because the shape of the cartridge is different. And here we have a whole host of Game Boy Advance loose cartridges. Here I'm eyeing Mega Man Battle Network 4 Red Sun. Very cool to see that. There's certainly a lot of good stuff in this cabinet that I want to get my eyes on. And I feast my eyes upon Star X, which is a game I have been looking for. Very cool to see that. And here's Serious Sam Advance and Game & Watch Gallery Advance, which is actually Game & Watch Gallery 4, but retitled over here. Very cool to see these, and they're at a very good price as well, so I certainly want to pick those up. So I ended up picking up the original Xbox game, Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, for just £1, Serious Sam Advance for 3 95 Game & Watch Gallery Advance for 6 95 and Star X for only 2 95 Very good games, and I'm very happy with what I walked away from, Acorn Records. Next up we check out a charity shop Oxfam in Truro. They actually had a ton of good stuff and check this out. Perfect Dark comic book. Now this is really cool. The only downside is the price here at 9 95 Pretty steep for a comic book. As much as I do love Perfect Dark, I don't know what I would do with a comic book as I don't currently collect comic books I used to. Right now I'm all in on video games. Certainly they take up enough space and money as it is. And speaking of video games, they did have a selection here. I'm looking at Tournament of Legends on the Nintendo Wii. I didn't pick this up at this point, but I believe down the line I do come back and I add that to my collection. What they did have here as well is a ton of strategy guides. I hardly ever see these out and about, and especially in a charity shop, it was really cool to see these. They had a vast selection from a ton of different games there. Pokemon there, Batman, Shadow Hearts, that was really cool to see. So they had a ton of really good ones and this got me really excited because I figured I'm going to walk away here with a ton of strategy games for a bunch of games that I really like. They have some really awesome games there, Star Ocean till the end of time. They had loads of Final Fantasy, Lightning Returns and Final Fantasy 3. 
This is awesome, but it is around about this point that I have my dreams crushed, as when I check the price, they are $9.99 or more individually. To be completely fair, this is cheaper than eBay pricing for these guides, but when I came back here to pick up that Wii game off camera, they were still there, and I would have definitely picked up a ton of them if they were just a little bit cheaper. Even with the pricing, I was still considering picking up maybe one or two of these because the artwork was so good, they were so incredibly detailed and so lovely to look at. They really drew my eye and these books are for amazing RPG games that I already have in my collection, so it would have been awesome to have the accompanying strategy guides as well. I also managed to find this Age of Empires free big box collector's edition for the PC. This was also $9.99, which was a pretty good price in this instance because it included a soundtrack CD and a making of DVD. This was really cool, but it's really bulky, so I just couldn't find room for it. I also found Intellivision Lives for a very good price here of $1.99. I already have this game, but it was certainly priced excellently for 60 Intellivision games included in this collection. Next up I check out Faceless Monkey in Truro. This is in Pania Market and is a regular haunt of mine and this place is always packed with retro goodness. I'm passing by Perfect Dark here which is funny because we saw the comic book earlier and here I nearly domino effect every game in the shop. I seem to have a tendency to do that on accident. Across from this Earthworm Jim lunchbox, which is really cool, we have a ton of systems and games. There's a Sega Mega Drive there, a Game Boy, a Game Boy DS, lots of Game Boy cartridges and Super Nintendo cartridges, Mega Drive cartridges and N64 cartridges. Over here there is a Game Boy Advance SP in red, which is really sweet. And then there's just loads of games and action figures laid out all over the place here. It's always really exciting when you see a great deal of stuff packed into a relatively small space and you can dig through it. Over here is a Deadpool Omnibus which was nice to see, next to some PlayStation 1 games and across from that there is Harvest Moon on the Wii and Resident Evil on the GameCube and a Pokemon game as well. There's some more GameCube games there, some PlayStation Portable games, PlayStation 2 stuff and original Xbox stuff with some Game Boy Advance in the box and some more Wii games next to all those PlayStation 1 games and GameCube games and even more PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 so there's a lot to check out over here and on the end there's even more Wii games this place is stacked on the other side there are PlayStation 2 and original Xbox games next to some trading cards a lot of stuff here one might say it's perhaps too cool <laughs> see what I did there it was very subtle so I took a good look at the original Xbox and PlayStation 2 because I'm interested in picking up PlayStation 2 and original Xbox games but nothing was really screaming at me over here so I then went to check out a box of Xbox 360 games I set my sights on Overlord here on the Xbox 360 which was pretty cool looking uh, there's also Mirror's Edge there and Batman Arkham games a lot of great games but I already have those then I found something more to my liking I found Hired Gun on the Amiga. Awesome to find an Amiga game. You don't often find them out and about in the wild and in this great condition so that was really nice to see. I then found a light gun accessory on the Wii. I'm not looking at Guitar Hero there but it's just a bit too bulky to take back with me unfortunately but it was cool. And then I checked out some fighting games. First up is Guilty Gear on the Wii. I want to grab more fighting games so I was looking for some fighting games. Next up is Wu-Tang Taste the Pain. It assaults your senses on the PlayStation 1. This looked really nice but I decided to give that a miss and just get Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus on the Wii. It's from the creator of Blaze Blue and I already grabbed a Blaze Blue game earlier in the day so I felt like picking that up. Next up we check out Cancer Research in Nuki. This is a regular haunt of mine. I once found Return of the Ninja there on the Game Boy Color which was a great find. As you can see they've actually got a lot of stuff here. They have GameCube games which you don't often see, a PlayStation 2 console with games there, there's a Wii with games, a PlayStation Portable with games as well and a Nintendo DS handheld but what I really focused on was these Sega Game Gear games. You don't often see these out and about and my eyes zoomed in on those because I knew I had to have them. So I did pick those up and I checked out inside because if they have consoles on the outside in the window they will often have consoles inside. Here's 
Angry Birds trilogy, which is actually not that bad. I believe at some other point, I picked that up sealed from this very location, which was pretty cool. There's Lego Marvel Super Heroes, and I hear the Lego games are actually quite good. Uh, there's Mini Ninjas. I already have this game, and it's actually quite good, and £2.50 is a very good price for it. They also had Fracture there for the Xbox 360. As you can see, they've got a lot of Xbox 360, Xbox Original, and PlayStation 2 games in here. It's good to dig through these when you're searching for hidden treasure. And talking of treasure, I walked away with free Game Gear games at very good prices and Men in Black 2 Alien Escape for the GameCube for only £3. Lastly, I checked out the British Red Cross and found something really awesome. In the media section, they had some games tucked away and some PlayStation Portable games. There was Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, but £4.50 seemed a little steep, but next, I found Final Fantasy 2, a Japanese copy for the PSP. This is really awesome. And now, my friends, it's time to see what I picked up. So what did I pick up? Well, first of all, from Acorn Records, I picked up Game and Watch Gallery Advance on the Game Boy Advance. This is a collection of a bunch of Game & Watch games all on one cartridge, which is really cool. You get the option on a lot of them for modern and original graphics from the original Game & Watch games, which is really cool. And there are also extra games to unlock on this as well. It's a really cool collection. Very happy to have that. I also picked up Serious Sam Advance. This is a first person shooter, part of a great series of games, which I am very fond of. Although this particular entry on the Game Boy Advance does suffer from the resolution of the GBA screen. Kind of looks like a pixelated mess, but it's still really cool to have that as it is. And next up, a game that looks really good and I've been looking for, it is Star X on the Game Boy Advance. This game is really cool. It is an on rails shooter. It plays a lot like Star Fox and it looks a lot like it as well. The graphics on this are very pleasing. This game looks amazing. I haven't got a bad thing to say about it. It's a hidden gem. You should check it out. Star X. And also from Acorn Records, I got Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. This is a beat em up, kind of like a hack and slash as well. Uh, hacking your way through all of your enemies complete with a disc and manual not as good as the film but i got it for a very cheap price so i can't complain about that and from the car boot sale that i attended to this was actually acorn records as well they had a stand there i picked up blaze blue chromo phantasma extend limited edition try saying that several times fast that included the game itself of course which was really cool a fighting game and it also included an art book which had a lot of cool art in it and i'll show you some pages for it uh, right now lots and lots of art in this i won't show you every single page but i will show you uh, a couple uh, a lot of the artwork is pretty much as you can see there as you would expect from a Japanese game, say no more, but there you go. Uh, cool to gather art book and down. I got that for a very good price as well. So, uh, next up from Faceless Monkey in Truro, I picked up Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus. This is a 2D fighting game, really cool, another fighting game. This is complete with the disc and manual from the creators of Blaze Blue, which is pretty cool. Love getting stuff from Faceless Monkey, they've always got good stuff for me. And then in Nuki, first of all from Cancer Research, I was able to find free Game Gear games in these protective cases. Unfortunately not in the original boxes, but they're still really cool to pick these up. I very rarely see these, especially in places like charity shops. First of all we have Alien Free, a platformer, a lot of shooting in this game. I used to love this game on the Amiga and it's on all kinds of different systems. So I love getting another copy of that. Next up we have G-Lock air battle and I probably should have taken them out of the cases before showing you to them but there you go how well prepared could I possibly be uh, this is an aerial combat game and then finally we have the Sega 4-in-1 game pack and I believe this is exclusive to Europe it contains a bunch of games uh, soccer or football as we call it over here in the UK uh, columns is on there as well and tennis and then I think a racing game I'm not too sure I've only played columns on this because columns is good it's a very cool puzzle game and then finally I found a GameCube game and it is Men in Black 2 Alien Escape complete with a disc and manual always good to get them complete this has its own story it doesn't follow along from the movie exactly um, but it's actually not that bad it's a nice shooter so glad to pick that up and then finally from the British Red Cross charity shop I found something very unusual to find at a charity shop at least down here and that is 
Final Fantasy 2, but this is a Japanese copy. Now, what's really cool about the uh, Japanese copy of PSP games like this, Final Fantasy games, at least this series, I'm not sure about every single game, but this will play in English on an English PSP. I unfortunately haven't been able to test that exactly because my PSP's battery is dead, but um, still really cool to get this PSP version, and it has a beautiful cover and manual and everything like that. And it comes with all of the uh, little information sheets and stuff in Japanese, of course. Um, very, very cool to pick that up. Really nice edition. And look at this. The manual has all color, all information about the characters and all that sort of good stuff. It is really cool. I mean, it's just it's just beautiful looking. Every page has artwork on. And wow, it's just, it's just fantastic. This is certainly, I think, the version to get, especially uh, since it will play in English. I'm very happy about that. And yeah, so that is all of my pickups from this episode of game hunting if you like the video please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content and if you'd like to you can also support me on patreon for as little as a dollar a month thank you for watching i've been mvl and i will catch you next time